Hello and welcome to the overview video for the RTT shader. Inside this artist you find in the section Buildings Shader 12 different shaders called the RTT Advanced Materials which allow you to create all kind of different surfaces. So let's have a look on the server category. You will find on the VisRT demo server uh, an archive with the same folder structure giving you a couple of example scenes. These scenes are free to use, also the textures and uh, they will show all the different materials. So I'm going to uh, point out just a few of them uh, during this overview video and we will concentrate later on uh, uh, with detailed videos on each individual shader. One shader as an example uh, can do anisotropic light uh, deformation on our objects so uh, the lightning is not rendered as the regular OpenGL light so if I just turn off the shader, this would be the regular OpenGL lighting, but uh, with the shader we get the anisotropic distortion of the light, which is very useful for organic shapes. Uh, this shader works as well in combination with a texture. So on this object we see here, we have a base texture, we still get the anisotropic uh, shading and we have the parameters available to change uh, the distortion of the light on the X or on the Y axis and we get a different effect. We have a special shader for brushed metals because brushed metal behaves in a very certain way in conjunction with light so therefore we have uh, the brushed metal shader with lots of different settings so we see we're using here a normal map as a bump map and we use a HDR cubic environment map as the reflection map for the object. Let's go to uh, one of our bump shaders as an example uh, a bump metal plate. So on this one we see nicely the bump is coming out, the reflection is uh, in the details so we have a base texture on the container inside uh, the shader settings of the bump shader we have a couple of parameters which I explain again in the detail videos later on but we have a normal map uh, which creates the bump, we have a specular map which distributes the uh, specular uh, light, the specular shading on the surface and we have a cubic environment map in HDR. So um, mainly all these shaders or most of them are using uh, normal maps for bumps you can use specular maps in conjunction with the uh, specularity of the material. So by changing the, the specularity of the material, um, the light will get distributed only into the areas which are set up by the uh, specular map. Then we have special shaders for fabric. Fabric have, has a special behavior um, in conjunction with light. So this is why we have a fabric shader. The fabric shader again has a bump map and a few parameters but no specular and no uh, cubic environment map since there's no reflection. So with the fabric we can create fewer, we can uh, create regular fabric, we can create a uh, kind of uh, a grass look. So this is grass made with the fabric shader. Then we have glass shaders glass shader with refraction and with bump. Let's take a more heavy one like this example. So uh, this is looking more like an ice cube. So creating uh, refraction in conjunction with bump is no problem at all. Let's have a look in the shader. There's a uh, lot of different settings and again we have a bump map and we have a cubic environment map. Then the next one is a good shader. The good shader is a basic material, it doesn't need a base texture on it and it has just a setting for the cold and the warm color, a backslash, a texture for the alpha and the highlight for the alpha. So with this shader we are able to create these very soft materials like polystyrene or uh, any other soft materials, that kind of. Then we have a special shader for lacquered surfaces. Uh, lacquered surfaces uh, would look like this one as an example. So if we have a piano coat on uh, top of this uh, wood surface, we see we have settings for the reflectivity for the environment uh, as with all the 
other shaders and we have a environment map. Then we have a shader for metal reflection. Metal, reflect, metal uh, reflects or behaves in a very special way. Uh, when it's uh, hitting the light, so here we have uh, the parameters which emulate the real behavior of metal in a light situation. Then we have a shader for microstructures. This microstructure shader is uh, calculating uh, very accurately the subpixels and uh, the subtexels on your geometry. So this shader is used for uh, having very small and fine detail inside the surface. We have again reflectivity, exposure and the gamma. Then we have a special shader which is called the monitor shader. Since monitor is a mix of glass, but the glass is behaving in a uh, special way depending on the angle um, where it's hit by the light. So uh, this is the reason why we have this uh, special monitor shader to emulate the behavior of a black monitor glass. And last but not least, we have a special shader for uh, velvet. Velvet has a special behavior um, concerning uh, light and shadows. So it spreads the light and it absorbs the light depending on the angle, how it's set on the surface. So what we use here is just a color map. Um, we can multi-texture it or not. And again, please follow uh, the later videos uh, where we uh, will explain the details for each shader individually. So what we have seen now is uh, that we have in these shaders normal maps, we have cube maps, and we have specular maps. So the big question is how do we create these normal maps, how do we create uh, the specular map, and how do we create the uh, environment maps. The next video will show how to create all these types of different textures and then after all we're going to work with uh, a couple of different shaders with different settings. Mm -hmm.